In this video, we're gonna cover this context keyword. So it's kind of uh, complicated on the first time, uh, but it's in the same time, it's easy to understand, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna try to explain you in a simple way, what is uh, uh, this keyword, this context. Okay, so let's create the object. Uh, I'm gonna call it Moscow and the Moscow gonna have uh, the museums uh, which uh, 400 of them in Moscow and parks uh, and in Moscow there are 500, about 500 parks and theaters uh, it's uh, 390 okay and let me create the method uh, log I'm gonna name it log uh, numbers of uh, museums and it's gonna be the function and first I want to check if this is a reference of the Moscow object so in the console log uh, I'm gonna say so this is a reference to Moscow so and it's supposed to show me the true because you see the web storm show me the highlight the object so in a web storm ID, uh, I can just click right and run in the Node.js with the Node.js this file. So, uh, okay, of course, uh, need to call. <laughs> Let's console log uh, Moscow log number of parks, and now I can click right and run, and you can see the true. If you use another. Uh, ID code editor you just go to terminal you're supposed to have the node.js installed on your machine and you just run node and name of the file and in my case it's a 0 2 I press tab so it's a number 0 2 and this context file okay and just press enter and you can see the true and uh, of course if we I'm gonna say this not reference to the Moscow uh, object, it's gonna be false. Let's see. Okay, it's a false. Let's print some message with this keyword. And in a console log, we're gonna say, I'm gonna use the ES6 template literal. So in Moscow, um, about dollar sign corner brackets, uh, gonna say uh, this, that museums. So a reference to the uh, Moscow object and use the museum. So we need to use the value 400 and museums. So let's print it. And you can see in Moscow about 400 museums. If we're gonna use without this, it's gonna be error. Let's see. You can see the museum not defined. This museums. Okay. And I can type also there is about now we wanna use the parks. This that parks and uh, let's add the parks and we want to say how many uh, theaters and this that theaters yeah let's add the board theaters uh, let's print again and we can see in moscow about 400 museum also there is about 500 parks and undefined because uh, i think misspelling uh, let me copy it just it's a typo okay let's print again and we can see 400 museums 500 parks and 390 theaters all right uh, that's how this context work uh, i want to show you another example with the classes how we can use with the classes uh, with the constructor okay so class Okay, let's uh, create the class. So we're gonna create with the ES5 because we're not uh, covered the classes yet uh, with the ES6. Okay, we're gonna call it city and country. So now let's pass the, uh, it's gonna be the city and country. We'll create the constructor and we're gonna use this, that city equals city and this on that count 
Echo Country. Okay, and uh, previous video on the prototypes, guys, uh, misspoke. I said this is a reference to uh, in a class situation, reference to uh, the class. It's not true, guys. I'm just misspoken. Very hard to type, explain, and you know, and in a second language, my Russian first language and English, of course, it's a second language. That's why I'm sometimes misspoke. Okay, and. Uh, so this is gonna reference to the object which we're gonna uh, pass instance use like instance of uh, city and country class okay so let's create the instance uh, counts we're gonna say M city which gonna be uh, the Moscow city okay and we're gonna pass, create a new constructor uh, it's uh, uh, city and country and you can see uh, the web storm I use web storm web storm suggests me uh, to add for city and then country so I'm gonna add the city Moscow and the country gonna be Russia of course all right so let's check uh, the instance of our prototype city and country and M city and we're gonna run in the terminal and we can see uh, the prototype is a city and country and uh, Moscow and Russia and let's uh, create the method a new method of uh, our uh, city and country class uh, we're gonna use the prototypes so if you don't watch the first video where we covered the prototype so on the right corner of the screen you, you will see the link to this video okay so you're welcome to watch it so prototypes and let's create the info of the city uh, and it's gonna be the function and inside uh, let's cancel lock the message gonna use the ES6 template literals and we're gonna say uh, the capital city of uh, the and the specific the country which we're gonna pass and we're gonna use the this keyword and uh, country country is a, and the city okay this that city all right so now we can use uh, the info so as our m city is the instance of city and country class uh, so we can just simply in the console log print m city that info okay and let's see in our terminal what's gonna print and we can see the capital city of russia is moscow so we pass the moscow name of the city in our instance m city and the country is russia so let's uh, create one more instance object uh, it's gonna be the u city like united states okay and the city is uh, washington dc and the country united states and now we can call so let me comment this one and now we can call let me duplicate change the name u city and let's see capital city of united states is washington dc so I hope you guys understand what this mean. So you need, of course, more practice when you're gonna coding, when we're gonna use this context, this keyword, you're gonna more and more understand how to use it. I just try to explain you in a simple way. I hope you get it, guys. So if you like this video and you think it's a helpful video to kind of little bit understand of uh, this keyword and you can share uh, this video, you can like and of course you always welcome to comment guys. All right, so see you in the next video. Bye.